Hmm. They look little blobs or fragments of red cell. Right. And what's the other name for fragment? Oh, um, I, I can't remember. <laughs> A -A oh, schistocyte. schistocyte. Yes, of course. Yeah, schistocyte. Schistocyte, schistocyte are the true fragments. Now, you know this patient also Ow. has a splenectomy yeah. because there's a hell jolly body. And is this polychromasia, slightly bluish? Okay, I'm slowly which, learning heme path. Okay. Which you honestly expect to sort of see in splenectomy. Okay. Patients, um, because the spleen isn't like taking out as much as, well, isn't taking out anything because it's gone. Uh -huh. uh, the spleen actually is a very highly functional. So in splenectomy, I expect to see some target cells. I probably will expect to see some nucleated reds. If this patient is at all stressed, I expect to see the Haldrali, the Pappenheimer bodies. This patient also happened to have at least three fragments in a high power field. So those are the ones where you're like thinking, oh, I need to start counting high power field fragments. So this means that the cells are being sheared and torn apart in in within the blood system somewhere right in within circulation so and so this is either your microangiopathic hemolytic anemia this it might just be uh the spleen is it clearing them out oh okay uh because you know i have a spleen and i have some fragments and my spleen will mop them up so we all have some breakdown of our red cells but normally they just get taken out by right. the spleen but if you have little clots or something like in microangiopathic then that Causes the red cells to tear apart in circulation, right. I guess. Or a mechanical heart, heart valve, valve or okay. DIC, or uh -huh. any any of those sort of circumstances. So now I'm counting. Now, often in your true microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, you're like 10 or more for high power. Bunch, yeah. It's not subtle. Okay. However, there are cases that have like none. You have true hemolytic anemia and you don't have serocytes and you don't have schistocytes, and I can't really tell you. Why? Is this a time where chemistry would help, though? Because if you have a hemolytic anemia, your bilirubin will go up, right? The... And your haptoglobin will go down. Oh, okay. So haptoglobin is something that I, I use. Because LDH isn't, will also go up, oh, but right. isn't specific to red cells. Right. It's any lysing cell any lysing will release cell. LDH. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a decreased haptoglobin and you have an increased bilirubin, you have an increased um, LDH, like all that goes together with, oh, we have hemolysis somewhere. But sometimes a peripheral smear will look red cell morphology normal, huh. and you don't really know why. Interesting. Those are frustrating. <laughs> it's your pathologist gets really frustrated when they can't put the puzzle together. Yeah, when you know, things when you, don't work the way they're supposed to. When you're to, putting right? together a puzzle and like the last piece is a hole because they didn't give it to you in the box. 